So let's talk about do-it-yourself data cabling. And let me tell you about the saga of do-it-yourself Dave, the intrepid yet misguided soul who thought that data cabling was just a fancy term for adult arts and crafts. Dave decided that hiring professionals for the data cabling was an extravagance on par with buying gold-plated paper clips. Why pay for expertise when you have the almighty power of online tutorials and a can-do attitude, right? So Dave embarked on his cabling adventure, armed with nothing but a roll of cables he bought on sale. Because who needs quality when you can have a discount? A dusty toolbox and an overconfidence that could power a small city. His motto, how hard can it be? Famous last words, my friends. First up, the planning stage. Dave's blueprint looked less like a structured cabling plan and more like a treasury map drawn by a caffeinated toddler. There were lines going everywhere, a couple of mysterious X's, and I'm pretty sure a few doodles of what looked suspiciously like a T-Rex. Then came the installation. Watching Dave wrestle with the cables was like observing a novice snake charmer. Cables were uncoiled with wild abandon, turning his office into a scene that resembled a spaghetti disaster. There were cables draped over chairs, snaking around desks, and some hanging in defeat, wondering where their life went wrong. An activity? Oh, that was a game of chance. Plugging in the cables was less about following a systematic approach and more about a philosophy of eeny, meeny, miny, mo. The result? A network that was as reliable as a chocolate teapot. Devices losing connection faster than a distracted goldfish and speeds reminiscent of the dial-up era. Dave's cable management strategy was something to behold. A blend of abstract art and a cry for help. There were cables tangled with the elegance of a ball of yarn after a cat party. And when it came to labeling, let's just say his system was as clear as mud on a foggy day. But the piece de resistance, the moment Dave realized that not all cables are created equal. Plugging in the wrong type had the same energy as trying to fit a square peg in a round hole with a hammer. In the end, what did our brave do-it-yourself warrior save? Maybe a few bucks up front, but at what cost? Time, sanity, and a network that resembled a digital haunted house. They finally conceded calling in the professionals who probably had to stifle their laughter as they navigated the labyrinth of his creation. The moral of the story? When it comes to data cabling, leave it to the pros. Otherwise, you might find yourself tangled up in a mess that no YouTube tutorial can unravel or fix. And remember, in the world of IT, do-it-yourself often translates into dig your own grave.